It's hard not to take a shine to this, a solar cooker powerful enough to make frozen dumplings piping hot in just 15 minutes. All you need is a sunny day and a soul source cooker with its plastic reflective panels to collect solar rays. We've developed something that from an engineering and design standpoint is very advanced and very technical. We're also proud that it's a product that's easy to use and convenient and has a modern look. MIT graduate Scott Frank developed the soul sauce when he was working in Western China, where locals often cook indoors with fuel that releases toxic fumes. Many of the nomadic tents that I was staying in were filled with smoke. The pollution inside of these homes is significantly worse than many of the well-known polluted cities in the world. The issue has been has actually a long history of the traditional fuel, wood or yak dung, running out. And particularly in recent years, not only has it been disappearing quickly, but the government has been protecting forests and putting bans on collecting wood. As a result, women who otherwise would be spending many hours to collect fuel were now being fined or running into other difficulties. And so they needed an alternative energy source. The inventor simply looked to the skies to that alternative energy source. But while sunlight is abundant in the region, it was a tougher job to come up with a solar collective device suitable to local people's needs. We've explored many different materials and many different designs. I think in total it's been over 54 different iterations of prototypes. Some of them have been very lightweight, others have been more portable or made from yak hair and woven into a, a knit fabric. With input from local communities, Frank eventually settled on a metal and plastic version strong enough to withstand the extreme Himalayan weather. And when it came to marketing the product, he co-founded One Earth Designs, setting up shop in Hong Kong. For a long time, we were commuting between the Himalayan Plateau and Boston. For us, Hong Kong made sense because it's close to both our initial markets on the Himalayan Plateau. It's also close to many of the other markets that have expressed interest in our products. It's basically the back door into mainland China. And I think that that has been very important in terms of time and efficiencies. For example, when we need to visit a factory, it's just a 45-minute trip to Shenzhen. The advantages of setting up in Hong Kong don't end here. The city has generous programs to help locals and overseas SMEs. One of them is the incubation program at the Hong Kong Science Park. Under the scheme, occupants enjoy subsidized office space as well as technical, promotion and development assistance. We had our eyes on Science Park for some time because we knew several other companies that were based here. And of course, they're the small startup companies as well as the large companies like Philips. Having those other companies nearby to us was a big attraction, as well as the additional support and services that the Incubation and Science Park offer. For us, we also have access to outdoor space so that we can do solar testing. And there's also outdoor space to walk and have a meeting. Meetings that evolved into collaboration with local talent that's helped the Utah native improve his product. What we found was that the practical applications of industrial design and engineering were best understood and best practiced by the people we were meeting here in Hong Kong. Besides a strong demand from developing nations, the emission-free cooker is also becoming a hot product in advanced countries where even outdoor barbecues can now go green. Frank believes Hong Kong is well positioned for global marketing in both markets. Hong Kong is also very efficient and convenient for accessing other Asian countries and it's also an easy and direct flight to Europe or to the US. And so the transit and, and communication is, is very convenient be, being based here in Hong Kong.